is up YouTube. So we are back here again in DaVinci Resolve. And today, as you guys saw by that opening clip, I'm going to show you how to make light rays come off of these lights right here. Now I'm going to show you how simple DaVinci Resolve really makes this. And just a quick little bonus, I'm going to also show you how I turn this shot into like a night shot as well. So the first thing that you want to do is come down to the color page and we are going to want to bump up the contrast just a little bit. We're going to leave it right about there. And now we're going to drop our lift down, drop our midtones down, drop our saturation down. All right, and that's a good start right there. But if you notice up here, the sky is super bright yet it's not like it's nighttime or anything so what we want to do is we want to create a mask around these buildings and we want to desaturate and make that sky darker as if it were a night sky so for that what you want to do is you want to come and you want to hit alt s and that's going to create another serial node in your node graph right here we want to make sure we have our new node selected come down here to the mask window we're going to select the pen tool and what we're going to do is zoom in on these buildings and you can just use your scroller wheel to zoom in and then if you press the scroll roller wheel down it allows you to move um, your video clip around so now i'm going to quick make a mask and i'll speed this up so you all don't have to watch me how i do this here so All right, now that we have that mask down or made and created, what we can do is we can adjust everything within that mask. And if you look at your node right here, it only it's all grayed out and then it shows uh, the sky right here. That means our sky is what is selected. If you wanted to invert this mask, you would just hit this little little box right down here and that would invert it and we would be editing everything outside of that sky but for right now we're going to keep it the way it was and we're going to edit the sky so what we want to do is drop our saturation and now we want to bring down our offset this is going to help create some darkness in the sky as you can see and we're going to bring that saturation all the way down actually just like so and it doesn't really match our scene here just yet but don't worry we're going to tweak it um, one thing when you make masks do not be afraid to feather it just a little bit and if you notice when we feather it if we zoom in it starts pulling off the side there so what we want to come down here and increase the outside feather this is going to drag the feather to the outside making our our mask hug those buildings as tight as we we can so that way we don't get any white cloudy looking spots on our sky there so now that we have our sky fixed to the way that we want it what we want to do is come back here and we want to just desaturate maybe that just a little bit more all right we are going to make it a little bit darker just bring down the, the gain just a little bit and we're going to bring down the midtones just a little bit. Now that matches so much more than what it did before. Now we're going to come over here, select our mask node, and we're going to hit Alt S again. That creates another serial node, allows us to make another adjustment. And if you don't have these effects on the right here, just come over here to Open Effects. And you have all these different effects. And if you have the studio version, um, then you can use them all. If you don't have the studio version and you're using the free version like myself, not all these effects will be usable. But one cool effect that is usable is right here. It's called light rays. So what you want to do is come over here, drag it, and drop it on our new node. And as you can see, instantly a whole bunch of um, light rays come all, like from all over. We got light rays coming from the, the windows, the car, the street lights everywhere so to make sure that we don't get light rays where we don't want them what we're going to come and do is create a mask on the light rays node and we are going to just select this part of the building like 
so. And now all that does is creates a light ray from this one single light. And now we can adjust this light by using the X and Y positions. As you can see, you can pretty much adjust it anywhere you want. I'm going to bring the mask over and I'm actually going to let it come into contact with all of these lights over here. We can stretch that out and bring it down to just right around the car. Right like that. That is perfect. And right there, now we get light rays coming from all of these street lights. We get light rays coming from the building and it still does not affect the car. So now we can, you can control the length, however long you want them, the softness. We're going to keep it about right there and we'll make it about that bright. All right, now if we want to get these lights involved in here, what we got to do is come over here, create another serial node, hitting Alt S, and we literally do the same thing over again. We're going to drag and drop the light ray effect. We're going to come over here, make sure your uh, mask window is open, select that, and we are just going to select enough to make this light appear. And now we can control the X and the Y position. I want it to be right there. And let's make it just a little bit longer. I'll pull the mask down. And we will make it just a little bit brighter. And one thing you can do with your masks, if you have them highlighted, don't, like I said, do not be afraid to soften them just a little bit. It'll help blend the light rays into your scene as well. Just a little bit better and you'll have like harsh lines on your masks. All right, and that is literally that all that goes into adding light rays into your scene. I mean, DaVinci Resolve makes it super simple with um, this drag and drop effect that they just include in their free version of DaVinci. Let me know what you guys think of this tutorial, what you guys think of the light ray effect, and if y'all have any cool videos where you use this effect, uh, link them in the comments below, and I'll be able to check them out, and I'll let you guys know. I'll comment back on them and let you know what I think. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we're going to be coming out with some more videos next week, so make sure you guys are subscribing, hitting the like button hitting the notification button so you guys do not miss out on anything that comes out. I appreciate everybody who's been subscribing and commenting and watching. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much, and I'm going to catch you all in the next one.